Look, I'm not covering for anybody. I'm telling you what happened, and I don't know why you don't believe me. Well, maybe I should believe you. On the other hand, I guess I need to explore the possibilities, don't I? Why don't you tell me one more time how you got that gun? Look, you think you're gonna try to trip me up here? No, I can't trip you up. How can I trip you up? You already confessed to killing the man. You have nothing to hide. You're telling the truth, right? So tell me about the gun. When I came to, I found the basement door was locked, so I took the ladder upstairs into the hallway. And then I saw Kelly struggling with Quinn. They were fighting over the gun. He was trying to take it away from her. At one point, the gun dropped. I picked it up. He came at us, and I shot him. before I had a chance to hide it. That was tough luck. Could be worse. I could be Quinn. And that's all you have to say, Quinn. And that's all I have to say. It's all yours. That man's an excellent liar. Well, I've been uh, hung up on this tree thing. Do you, want, do you want to hear my idea? Sure. Well, what do you say we decorate the tree tonight? We could get all the old boxes down out of the closet and uh, do the drill, you know? We'll wonder how come all the best ornaments were mysteriously broken again inside their boxes. And we'll spend hours untangling the lights and only to discover that they don't work once we get them on the tree. We'll have a bunch of eggnog and both have indigestion uh, sometime after midnight. Well, it sounds like the holidays to me. I'm just kidding. Uh, you know, there's always the mistletoe, right? We got a deal? Sure. See ya. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 